All right, guys. So the best way to lose weight and or to gain weight is to count your macros or to count your calories. Okay. In this video, we're going to be talking about weight loss and counting your calories. So when it comes to gaining weight, losing weight, it all comes down to your calorie count at the end of the day. Okay. So before you go to bed, you know, depending on how many calories you consume, that will dictate if you're gaining weight or losing weight. So if you're in a surplus, you will gain weight. If you're in a deficit, you will lose weight. So in order to understand your body and how much it needs to be at a healthy weight, you need to calculate this, okay? So you can use online calculators. You could do it the old-fashioned way, write it down, journal it, or whatever the case might be. But in my opinion, the best and efficient way is to use the online calculator. They might not be as super accurate when it comes to your own body type and your metabolism stuff like that but it'll give you a roundabout a estimation a guesstimate right for you as an individual based on your goal to lose weight or to gain weight in this case it's all about losing weight right so that is that once you understand how many calories your body needs right then you need to strive for that goal every single day if you pass that goal if you pass that calorie count that calorie goal on a daily basis. If you pass it, if you bypass it, if you surpass it, you'll end up in a calorie surplus, resulting in weight gain, okay? So that's how people gain weight. You're excessively consuming calories. You're overdue, you're overdoing on calories, right? You're indulging on calories or in calories, right? And that what results in weight gain over time. A lot of people aren't aware of this, nor are they recognizing this because it's not instantaneous, right? Your body just doesn't gain weight, you know, instantaneous. It takes weeks, months, and years to be where you're at today. If you're if you're big and obese, it took you that long in order to get where you're at. So it's going to take that long, if not longer, to go back to square one, to become healthy again, right? To be lean again. It's going to take a very long time because you have to go backwards now. You have to reverse everything. And you have to learn through the process, right? And it's very complicated, it's tedious, it's difficult, and it's draining, right? A lot of people want instant results, but it's not going to happen like that. So by count counting your calories, you get to dictate whether if you need to eat more or eat less or stay neutral with it, right? Because a lot of people who are obese or anore anorexic have no idea how many calories they're consuming. They're not mindful about eating. They're not mindful about their nutrition. They're not mindful about anything. They're simply just living on a day-to-day -day basis, which everyone should be doing. And they shouldn't be worried about or having a hassle about, you know, counting calories or the macros or whatever the case might be. They shouldn't go through that hassle. And I understand that, but a lot of people get carried away and end up excessively eating and developing bad habits resulting in obesity and or anorexia and developing other health issues such as diabetes, heart issues, so on and so forth, right? So that is that. So you can use apps online, you can use apps on your phone, or you can just look at the labels, look at the, the, the calorie count, it'll give you a calorie on every single item, meal, whatever you you go by it'll tell you how many calories and you just jot that down in a journal somewhere you add them all up and dictate whether if you need to eat more or less or whatever the case might be but by using an app such as my fitness pal or whatever that it, that you can find online it will help you and guide you through your weight loss journey or your weight gain journey okay so it will give you a calorie goal like i said in the beginning and you need to reach that goal every single day to uh, accomplish your, your goal right and it will take time like i said it's not instantaneous results it will take time weeks months if not a year depending on how big you are or whatever the case might be whatever your goal is right so if you just follow that protocol by following those um process you know by by sticking to that calorie goal by eating in a high protein diet or by having more protein, reducing carbs, stuff like that. If you just follow the calorie 
app, it will tell you, it will give you a breakdown on how much carbs you should be consuming, how much protein you should be consuming, and how many fats you should be consuming. So if you just follow the process, follow the protocol, follow the calorie goal, you will lose weight automatically because you place yourself in a calorie deficit, right? And that's what is needed in order to lose weight. In order to gain weight, you guys need to do the opposite, which is to be in a calorie surplus. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching.